Hey guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk. Hope you guys are having a good day. And let's start off with the um, NBA and what's going on with the playoffs. As the Cavs and the Warriors are both looking dominant and look like they will be heading to the finals. As they both just swept their opponents as in the Utah Jazz and the Toronto Raptors. The East looks like they're not as good as everyone thought they were. And the Cavs look like they're going to go, um, go by right through it unless the Celtics can do something. And the Warriors are looking unstoppable after sweeping the Jazz after, and then they were comparing them to like supposed to be a huge team, like a good team to face up against the Warriors. Then they got their ass destroyed and lost every game by do double digits. And who can stop them? I'd love to see the Celtics, the Wizards, any the Spurs or the Rockets, anyone else other than those two teams in the finals. But I'm just going to have to go with the teams that look like they will make it, and that will be the Warriors and Cavs. Let me know in the comments who you think will be in the finals. Will it be the Warriors and Cavs, or will it be someone else? Will someone tr finally stop these teams? And if it is those teams, who do you think are, are ha winning the finals? Do you think KD is going to get his first ring, or do you think LeBron James is going to get back-to-back -back rings, or what else is going to happen with any other team? Let me know, but... Right now, it looks like those two teams are dominant, and I can't really say much. They just play incredible. They have loaded teams, and it doesn't look like anyone can stop them. And now let's get into Champions League, because last tonight we had Juve advancing to the finals after they beat Monaco 2-1. to one. And like I've said before, Barcelona made a huge mistake in letting Danny Alves go, because all this year we've had complaints about Barcelona needing a right back, even though Sergio Roberto has done good. He has been nowhere near the level of Danny Alves, who I believe is still the best right back in the league, even though he just turned 34. He's still the best right back in Europe by far. He scored an incredible goal. I had an assist this game. And last game in Champions League, he had two assists. He has more assists than like Gareth Bell, Bale, Messi, some other huge names. And men, who do you think Juve will play against? Will it be Real or will it be Atletico, even though Real have a 3 to nil aggregate over... Atletico and they look like they will be heading to the finals. Who do you th do you think um, Atletico have a chance? And do you think it will be a Real versus Juve final? And if it is that final, who do you have winning it? I think Juve's defense is just too good, especially with the injuries Real Madrid is still facing without Bale and have goalkeeping issues. Even though Kaylor Novice is good, I don't think he's good enough. And like they have all those rumors of getting De Gea, Courtois, anyone really. I think they need a better keeper, but you never know. You never know with Ronaldo on a team, they, they can do anything, but they are against the probably one of the best defenses in all of Europe and one of the best defenses most people have ever seen. And let me know what you guys think about that. And also, we're going to go with some Premier League news with Chelsea looking like they will be clinching the Premier League title for the second um, season out of three years. With a 3-0 um, win over Middlesbrough and Tottenham losing to West Ham 1-0 last week. They look dominant this year and let me know what you think are going, who who or how far they're going to go in Champions League next year. And how far they're going to be in Premier League next year. And who do you think is going to be in the top four? I'm going to say Chelsea, the Spurs are automatic clinches. Will it be Liverpool, Man United, Man City or Arsenal somehow? Let me know out of those four teams who will be the final two to clinch it. And going with the Europa League, we have Man United and and Ajax looking like they will be the clear favorites to advance. With Ajax having the youngest ever European team to play in a competition. And now they look like they're going to be off to the finals. They had an extraordinary young side and they look like to be back in their old days. And Man United have so much pressure now because if they do advance to the finals, they are not really taking or they really don't care about the Premier League as much as because Man United don't care is because that they're so close to top four in the Premier League that if they don't win Europa League, they can always go for top four. But they just did lose for the first time in the last 25 games to Arsenal 2-0, to nil, and they didn't put the strongest side there. So it looks like they are putting all their um, horses on the Europa League, and if they don't make it, that would really suck for them. And really suck for United as they were looking to sign Griezmann, Bale, James, and Mape. Pretty much, pretty much anyone you can think of that's been playing great. Or is a big name. 
and close their rumor to everyone. But this is huge for their um, Champions League and hopes of getting new transfers and keeping Ibra too. And then after those two, we got the MLB as the Yankees are looking to be one of the best teams in baseball right now. They just swept the World Series champs, the Cubs, even though they're not having their best of seasons. They're still one of the top teams in baseball. And man, for the, like I said, and like I've always wanted the Yankees to finally go young and give the youngsters a chance, and now look at what they're doing. You have Gary Sanchez, Torres, Aaron Judge, who's dominating, has one of the league leaders in home runs. You're just giving the people a shot. Greg Bird, now they've started Castro, Didi Gregorius, and all these other players that are really helping contributing to the Yankees' success. And hopefully they can start to be like a very big team and a top contender team for the, for the future and for years to come. And who do you think will is the best team in MLB right now? Is it them or is it the Nationals? They're also doing great. And that's going to be it for today's video. Please, this might be a little bit shorter on the short, but hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys want for next week and what we should talk about in the future. T t let me know for the summer when I don't have school so I can be uploading videos at better times. Should I upload in the afternoon instead of early in the morning? Tell me what you should do, what should, will be better. I'm going to start adding more highlights because I have figured out better ways to do it. So I'm going to add more highlights to these videos and hope you guys enjoy. Please let, let me know any other um, things you guys want. And let me know your opinions on any of the topics we talked about, what you think is going to happen next. And hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and peace.